2020 Rockstar Triple Crown MX National season started out at Gopher Dunes this past weekend. One moto Saturday, two on Sunday. How would young rookie number nine, Dylan Wright, do up in the 450 class? We're about to find out. Number 16, Cole Thompson, getting up to a great start. He would get the whole shot ahead of the number nine, Dylan Wright. Then there's Tyler Daly, Keith Meston, Phil Nicoletti, Bobby Piazza with a good start there, number 50. First lap though is number nine, Dylan Wright out front. Cole Thompson had dropped the second. There is 2019 Triple Crown champ. That's Phil Nicoletti, followed by Kyler Medallia, Matt Gerke. There goes Keelan Meston, Sam Gaynor, number 50. Bobby Piazza with a good start. Sam Gaynor getting himself into the mix. That's him right between Meston and Piazza there. There goes leader Dylan Wright, Phil Nicoletti. Cole Thompson, Tyler Medallia looking strong. Number two, Matt Gerke coming back after a serious injury in the off season. No troubles for Dylan Wright out front though. Cole Thompson will start slipping back a little bit. There's Tyler Medallia getting past him. Matt Gerke, we were wondering if we're going to see a late charge by him. He's very good at this track historically for sure. And there is Phil Nicoletti had messed up and dropped back a little bit. Cole Thompson fighting hard, but it will be revealed after, as you can see, Gerke getting up into that battle. But revealed later he had a cut under his arm and would be suffering from infection. He'd be throwing up inside the helmet. How would he be able to do for the following days? Uh, yet to be seen. Gerke getting up on teammate there, number five. Kyler Medallia and Cole Thompson still trying to hang on. Phil Nicoletti wanting to get up into that mix. And as you can see, he actually would get up into that mix. There go the guys. There's Cole Thompson falling back one more position. Real time here back to Phil Nicoletti, who has that much ground to gain on the competitors. Can he do it? There's Sam Gaynor looking good there. He would finish fifth in the middle. Sean Moffenbeyer would actually take sixth. And there is Phil Nicoletti. He's now gotten around Cole Thompson, who's struggling. And now, as you can see, the two teammate Kawasaki teammates have company with Phil Nicoletti getting right into the mix here. Ah, out of gas for Bobby Piazza. Very upset. One lap to go. Checker flag. Dylan Wright with a 10 second lead over Tyler Down. You can see how close those battles were there. Nicoletti grabbing second and right behind there. Sunday morning would start without number 16, Cole Thompson, who was uh, unable to complete uh, the weekend after that infection. He tried to ride a lap in practice, but it was no good, and he was done for the day. Pole shot to number 54, that's Phil Nicoletti out front. Some good starts by some guys there, like number 82, that's Zach Zager, and the 343, Max Filipek. Out front, Dylan Wright, followed by number 54, Phil Nicoletti. And then the two Kawasaki boys. Always seem to be together on this weekend. Dylan right up front. You can see they made multiple lines here. Phil Nicoletti trying to keep that number nine rookie in sight. Sean Moffenbeyer would finish fifth in this one. Number two, Matt Gerke would be about 37 seconds behind the leader at the end of this one. Tyler Medallia trying to keep them in touch. There's Moffenbeyer trying to stay close with Tyler Medallia. There's real time in that battle there, as you can see. Track getting rougher and rougher, and the heat was up high on this day, and the humidity. But taking the win without incident was number nine, Dylan Wright, followed by Phil Nicoletti, 13 seconds back. And third to number two, Matt Gerke, who was 37 seconds off the rear wheel of number nine, Dylan Wright. Final moto update. 50 guys could Dylan Wright complete the sweep Sam Gaynor getting all the traction he needed there and he would come around and grab the full shot here in the third moto followed by number 10 great star Keelan Meston Nicoletti Dylan Wright Gerke Moffenbeyer and a great start by Parker Eels there number 36 out of British Columbia as they come around the track really beat down now a classic hot hot humid day Dylan Wright gets out front and starts looking very good Phil Nicoletti wanting to stay with him again would he be able to do so? Last year's champ doesn't want to drop far behind. And again, the two Kawasaki boys, Gerke and Medallia, going at it hard there for third and fourth place. Sean Moffenbeier there, he would finish fourth in this one. Medallia was in trouble. We find out later that he fell and took a handlebar to the midsection and was having a difficult time catching his breath. And there is the quick way to get through what Dylan Wright shows us. Phil Nicoletti giving chase. But it would be a nice 17 second lead and win for Dylan Wright completing the sweep. Second would go to number 54. 
Paletti 17 seconds down and a full minute behind Dylan Wright. Minute and two seconds, in fact, is number two, Matt Gerke, completing the podium. And that's how they would actually finish in a three. There's Dylan Wright first, Phil Nicoletti second, Matt Gerke third. We'll see you in two weeks at Walton Raceway.